Welcome back to Detroit Garage. We're gonna call this video Turbo Talk. All about turbos. Uh, it's one of the key components to make this engine run clean with 100cc injectors. The blower is one part that I've added here, the end blower, to increase performance. So with any luck, I should see response out of this tomorrow when I do the dyno. But the turbo that's on this engine, it's a, a Garrett, well truly it's a Chinese Garrett, a copy of a T04B98. I put a 66 millimeter compressor wheel on it and it's got a 65 millimeter turbine. So 66, 65. Normally what you'd want is a 63, 65. Turbine, uh, turbine larger than the compressor without the bypass. This is an open housing with no bypass. This compressor wheel I had on my shelf, so I just bored out this housing to fit it. Ah, maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. Well, it's actually starting to light now and it's running pretty nice. Let's go to the bench and I'll show you a different housing I have in store for this. And it's a, a divided housing. So here, let's have a look. This is the housing that's on it now. It's a .96 AR housing. And it's got a 65 millimeter turbine wheel. This is the wheel here, 65 millimeters from here to here on the x This housing, fits this turbine wheel, but it is a divided housing. And it's 1.0 AR. So the gases enter out of the exhaust manifold through here, and they come down and they get compressed into a narrow channel. And on an open housing, there's only one vein in here to run that turbine. There's only one little channel where the gases flow. They hit the largest inducer here, they come in, they hit this and they spin that. As the gases get used, they come down here and out. As they slow down, they, they hit this wall and spin that turbine faster. See that? It's got a little divider in the middle. So when the gases come out of the exhaust manifold, they get divided and they run down those two channels instead of running down the open housing. Now, this is not a really good example, but I'm just gonna test it. It's a Chinese copy again and the casting's pretty poor. This is a real Garrett uh, casting. And this is a real Garrett tur turbo. So, the inducer on the turbine is this top part, and the exducer is... So normally, you have a turbine that's larger than the compressor. So the compressor here is the inducer, and this is the exducer. So when somebody says it's a 6265, they mean the inducer here is 62, and the exducer here is 65. So you'll see references to that all the time. What I'm trying to do now, because I'm outside the uh, parameters of this engine, I'm moving a lot more air through it. So I've got to find a turbo and match it to those injectors. 
And without throwing a lot of money at this, I basically have enough in my, you know, my stock that I can experiment. I'll get a very good idea of what turbo works and what doesn't. Now, buying turbos through eBay, if you don't buy OEM products, it's frustrating because you'll order a turbo that's 61, 65, and you end up with a 69, 63. I'll show you an example one. It's very frustrating. So I've got enough junk on my shelves I can build a turbo and test. So that turbo on the engine is 60, 66, 65. It's running this housing right now. What we're going to do next after I do this dyno run here with the new blower is we're going to put this housing on it. I want to see if this accelerates any faster. Is it any cleaner? The argument is, on a Detroit, you need to run open housings. Why can't you run divided housings? I know all the four-stroke guys do it, and everybody swears by it, so I'm going to test for myself. Is it true, is it not? So this body here is a Borg Warner K27. Uh, it's one of the newer designs I ran on my uh, Silver Series with a uh, compound setup. It's uh, 54 millimeters here and 55. It's very small, but it it's very responsive. Uh, it has a bypass valve on it. Again, <clears throat> this is a divided housing. It's a T3. I got this turbo cheap, so I just cobbled it together to fit on a T4 manifold, but it works really well. Very small housing. Now you can't run this turbo on my engine without a bypass on it. So on the back of it, on the exhaust housing, is this flap. There's a little flap in here. When the turbo uh, reaches a certain boost, it opens this valve and bypasses the turbine section in the uh, in the housing and relieves the engine of back pressure. So I'm going to run this again on uh, on this engine. So I'll run this this one next, then the divided housing, then the K27, and the K27 is essentially a uh, HX35 replacement. I just want to see if going smaller is better. Alright, so that's another turbo to test. And lastly, I'm th flowing a lot of gas. And I'm thinking of running this one. It's a low pressure turbo off of a uh, 6.4 power stroke. And it's been sitting on my shelf for a long time so this is 64 millimeters that's 73 so 73.5 63.6 this is a Borg Warner series made for uh, international for the power stroke This is the low pressure turbo in like a compound system, but they call it sequential turbocharging. Anyway, I'm going to modify this to fit the Detroit and just try it. Then I'll get a really good idea. 73, 64. Maybe a bigger turbine is better. So I'm limited right now to 65. And without spending a whole bunch of money on turbos and then figuring out, well, wait a minute, they don't even work, I can do this in the shop and figure out myself. So here's the housing for the, the big turbo. It's an open turbo as well, open housing. And uh, fairly shallow on the uh, inducer here. 
So it should be interesting to see if I can light this one. But what I'm going to do now is clean this housing up and weld on a T4 flange on here and uh, mount it up on the Detroit. And we'll try this one after a couple more turbos. I'll go get that new turbo I just bought. Uh, it's supposed to be 6162, and I thought, well, that should work real sweet. No, nah, it is 69. 63.9 64 so 69 64 I don't think that's gonna light I don't even want to try it I think I'll just send it back but here I'll go get it it looks really nice it's a Garrett copy Chinese um, but but the, it's listed they don't even know what their turbos are it's very frustrating just a sec Here's the unveiling <laughs> of a, a turbo that doesn't even work for my application. I figured, you know, it was a couple of hundred bucks US. I thought, ah, you can't go wrong just to try it, right? So they list it as a 6162. And you can't tell from the pictures, but There it is. So, it's got a 69 millimeter compressor, open housing, T4, a three, I think that's a three inch or three and a half inch V band, and then the wheel. The wheel is 63.9 millimeters. Uh, I don't even know if that's worth trying. 69, 64. That's a way off ratio. I don't know if that'll work, but anyway, I'll have a think on it. Well, there you have it, guys. That's a quick turbo talk. Uh, a lot of you guys have been asking me about the turbos, so that, that's some of the turbo talk for you. Um, a friend is going to send me out a uh, Pulsar 3576, and uh, I can't remember what measurements that was. I think it was like a 5862. I didn't write it down. And then I'm looking at uh, Borg Warner SXE 360 series turbos, like a 362. That would be really nice. But until I finish this testing, I won't spend any money on new turbos. It's a waste of money because you don't know what you're going to get until uh, you see what you really need. Uh, I, I just can't go and say, oh, I have a 453T and uh, I need a turbo. Well, there you have it, guys. That's a quick look at uh, the turbos I've got in stock here and we'll be testing to try to get the cleanest emissions out of this engine as I can and to get the most power I can. I've got it fairly clean now, but I want to get it like uh, smoke free if I can. But uh, if you like more, you know, if you like this turbo stuff, let me know. I'll make more content. I've Right now I'm going to sit here and weld up a turbo and do all this work to a turbo to test it. That 70 or 6473 turbo, it just might be the answer. So that's what's on the uh, drawing board for the next uh, turbo. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed that video and uh, again take care. We'll catch you on the next video. See ya.